First of all, what's a watermark? Well, a watermark is taking any image or picture and bleaching it or washing out the color so it's faded. For example, I've got my presentation I'm going to be giving here on Santa's toy stores. I've got all the store numbers, their quarterly sales, then their yearly sales. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to insert our logo of Santa in behind the uh, data. But if it retains its original color, it's going to be so dark, it will make these numbers obscure. But if I go ahead and wash it out or convert it to a watermark, which is basically a washout image, then I can still see the outline, make it look nice, and still be able to differentiate between the image and the data in front of it. Now, in order to insert a picture or logo and then turn it into a watermark or a washout, you want to watch my level one training videos on inserting headers and footers because I'm going to be doing the same thing, inserting a picture, but this time bleaching it or making it a watermark. So assuming that you've watched that, let's go ahead and get started. Come up here, click on the insert tab, go to the text group, click on header and footer, and it changes from the normal view to the page layout. Where in the page layout, I've got header, my header section, And then if I scroll down to the bottom, I've got my footer section. Let me go ahead and scroll back up to the top. That's one way to find out. The other way is that if you click on your View tab, you see in the Workbook Views group, Page Layout I'm in, if you can't see it, it's not bolded like you see here. That means you're in the header. When you click in the header or the footer section in the Page Layout, it washes it out. Hey, there's a watermark. See how it's washed out? In any case, Go ahead and click anywhere within the worksheet. It brings it back up. Okay, so when I go back to my header section, washes it out. I get the Related Contextual Design tab for my header and footer tools. And I'm going to go ahead and click in the center because I'd like to insert my picture in the middle and just behind my data here. So I've got my cursor flashing in the middle. Come up here on the Design tab. Go to the Header and Footer Elements. Click on Picture. Then it says, okay, where's your picture? Let me go ahead and browse for it by coming over here in the navigation pane, clicking on the desktop, because on my desktop, I have my exercises folder. Double click on that, and there's Santa. Double click. Now, it just inserts the coding. You don't see the picture until you actually click below it, and then you can see the picture. So that way, if I want to make changes to it, come back up here, click in the header section, and go ahead and click before it. Hit enter a couple of times, then click off, and it nudges his image down. Go back up in the header section, and then what I want to do here is I want to turn it or convert it into a watermark, make it a washout. So, with the coding selected, I can come up here on the Design tab to the, again, Header and Footer Elements group, and click on Format the picture. Go to the Picture tab. Instead of having its original color, click on the drop-down arrow, and let's go ahead and wash it out. Now, the default washout, let me click and drag and move this over is going to be 85% brightness, 15% contrast. You can go ahead and click and drag that in any direction to give it less or more brightness. In any case, I'm going to go with the default washout, click okie dokie, and there you go. You can see that he's more bleached, so that way I can see the numbers in front of him and not be too distracted, but still be able to make out uh, Santa, his beard, behind the data here. Then when I'm finished and I want to go back to my normal view, well, to go back to the normal view, you have to click out of the header section, or if you're in the footer down below, click on the main page here, then go to the View tab, click on Normal, and then notice Santa disappears. The only time you're going to see him is in the Page Layout view because he was in the header section. You know, you had your header section up at the top. Or, if you go ahead and click on the File tab and go down to Print, what you see is what you get. So you'll see him here as well. Now you'll notice in the print preview you don't see the grid lines, they won't print, but if you're not printing this off but you're giving a presentation, let me go ahead and click on the file tab so it can take me back to where I last left off on the view tab. When I'm giving a presentation, if I didn't want to have the grid lines there so people will be distracted by it, then come up here, click on the page layout tab, go to the sheet options group, and uncheck view grid lines. You can also uncheck View Your Headings. You've got your column headings, your row headings. When you uncheck that, they disappear. In fact, you can go ahead and double-click on any one of these tabs on the ribbon, collapse the ribbon. You get more view, a lot less distraction with the uh, ribbon up at the top, and then the column and row headings, and also the grid. So just go ahead and double-click to pop it back open. Go to Page Layout, and we can set that back to normal by checking the view boxes for both grid lines and headings. Thanks for watching.
Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for only $2 a month, you get online access to all my training. Or for downloads and DVDs, please visit me at dreamforce.us.